In Masterpieces of Italy, we are visiting Florence today. Here, Benvenuto Cellini made his opus magnum, the statue of Perseus, one of the many sons of Zeus. Our little hero has been busy. He has just killed the Gorgon Medusa and holds up her severed head for the world to see. Cellini made the statue in commission for Cosimo I de' Medici, the first Grand Duke of Florence. It was Cosimo who decided where the statue had to come, and he placed it in the loggia nearest to the entrance of the Palazzo Vecchio. And he did this with a reason. It was because of the old myth about Medusa. You see, any man that would look directly into the face of Medusa would turn into stone. And as we can see here, both David and Hercules are placed in such a way that they can't look away. And they did turn to stone. It is a fantastic statue. Look at all those wonderful details. The winged feet. The handle of the sword of our hero. The helmet on his head. The headless body under the feet of him. And even though it is nearly 500 years after completing, all details are still visible and they are as fresh as they were on the day the statue was placed in the loggia. It is one thing to create a statue with so much detail, but to cast it. At the time Cellini wanted to create this masterpiece, this was never done before. A statue with so much body under the feet. Cosimo I thought it could not be done, but Cellini insisted. The casting took him at least twice as long as a normal statue would have taken. To heat up the fire, to keep the bronze in a liquid state, he even used silver, so the temperature of the fire would go up and up and up. And it works! Now, here are two things not everybody knows about the Perseus. The base on which it stands nowadays is a copy. The original pedestal is to be found in the Bargello Museum, and it really is worth a visit. The second fun fact, you might not realize this, but Cellini himself is present on the statue. The backside of the helmet is a self-portrait of the maker. So, when I show you this picture and ask you how many faces are there in this area of the statue, the answer should be three. Now, wouldn't that be a nice trick question in a pop quiz?